Hi, everybody. Look where I am today. We're back at school. Let's go in and see what's the same and what might be a little bit different. You can see out here on the sidewalk, there are red marks that are six feet apart. This is very similar just to the grocery store and other places you have been. Moms and dads are gonna wait out here to go inside to get their temperature taken and their four medical questions. There's some signs there with some reminders. in that door. I am going to come and I'm going to take your temperature and I'm going to ask your moms and dads some questions um, about your family. So here is one of the thermometers that we will be using and it's going to go right up by your forehead here and it's going to tell us what your temperature is. And then I'm going to be writing into this book what your temperature recorded and said and I'm going to ask your, you and your parents if you've had any exposure to COVID-19 if you have a cough, if you have any shortness of breath, or a sore throat. And as long as all of those answers are no, then we get to go into school. Awesome. So when I'm done with those questions, I'm going to stand on one of these footprints. And then either Miss Annalisa, Miss Samantha, Miss Melissa, or Miss Lisa are going to take us back through the doors to our classrooms. Miss Samantha, are mommies and daddies going back in the classrooms or will we say goodbye here in the lobby? We will say goodbye here in the lobby and then when moms and dads come to pick us up at the end of the day, one, either your teacher or myself or Annalisa or Lisa or Melissa will bring you back up here to see your moms and dads. Awesome. So after mommies and daddies say goodbye, I'm noticing that down the hallway, there is a bathroom door that's propped open. If they want to wash their hands there, that's available. I'm also noticing that the library, the door is closed and the lights are off. That's going to stay closed for some time to make sure that we don't spread our germs, but we have plenty of books back in the classroom. Let's head on back and see what we can find. You might notice I'm walking straight through Town Square to our classroom. One thing that's going to be different is we'll have breakfast in our classroom instead of the dining room. Hi everybody, I am back in our classroom right now. Um, so we can take a little walk through. You'll notice that some things are the same, some things are different. So if you look around, you'll notice that there are only two chairs at each table. That means only two friends can work together at a table, okay? But we still have these very cool activities out for you. The light table is now gonna be our science area where you can explore some science ideas. We still have all of our books and our book shows. When you come over here, you'll notice there's a table in the block area now for two friends to work. So we won't have so many friends working in the block area, just two. If you look over here, you'll notice that your cubbies, you still have cubbies, but the cubbies are a little more spaced out to give you guys a little extra room. And in dramatic play area, you still have the baby dolls, but notice again, just two chairs, okay? Another thing that's different in dramatic play is we won't have all of the clothes, the dress-up clothes for you guys to play with, but there's still lots of materials for you to play with in dramatic play, okay? I am so excited to have you guys back in our classroom, and I can't wait to see you on Monday. One thing that you might notice that I'm wearing is a mask. All the grown-ups in our school, all the teachers, Chef Mark, Ms. Annalisa, and Samantha, will be wearing masks at school to make sure that we're keeping our bodies safe and not spreading germs. If you would like to wear a mask, you can, but you don't have to. It's okay. All right, guys, I'll see you Monday. Bye.